For the last week, I've been taking photos of everything in front of me every few seconds. If we pass each other on the street, I probably have a picture of your face. I did this with two tiny cameras, one the size of a tie clip. Most people didn't even notice I was wearing them. These cameras aren't made for spies, but for people like you and me. One of them is called the narrative clip and the other called the autographer, and they both began shipping recently for less than $400. Who on earth would want to take photos of everything in their life? These tiny cameras are supposed to help people catalog their lives, like who they meet and everything they eat. They also help you record vacations, birthday parties, and concerts without holding your phone in front of your face the whole time. The autographer is big enough to be seen by others and looks much more like a camera. A faint blue light goes off every time it snaps a photo. It also uses a fisheye lens, so you have to get really close to someone to take a detailed portrait. The narrative clip is much smaller and more convenient to wear, but relies on people wearing it to disclose to the world around them that they're on camera. Does the idea that people around you might be photographing you without your permission make you a bit squirmy? I found that was a big cost to using these cameras. They made others uncomfortable when they found out I was recording, and they made me uncomfortable when the people around me didn't know. What I learned is that we need some rules for the road with this kind of gear. The autographer camera I tested even came with a small etiquette guide that makes suggestions like turn off your camera when you're in a public place like a train. The autographer did a better job than the narrative clip at passing what I call the relationships test. How the gadget impacts the way you interact with the other people around you. The truth is that this kind of always-on sensor technology isn't going away. You can now buy cameras built into products you wear on your wrist, ear, bike helmet, and face. We're just beginning a conversation about how we want to handle always-on cameras in our lives. But for now, I think a baseline ought to be disclosure. If you're going to take someone's photo, at least make it clear to the world that you've got a camera.